Hey guys, what's up? This is Play the Movie Fan and it's time for another Family Guy episode review. This time I will be reviewing the Family Guy episode Grumpy Old Man. So by the beginning of the episode there is a lot of snow going on in Koha. And a lot of people there have a lot of fun with the snow. Brian lies to Stewie Griffin about there being a lemon snow. That was a very dickish move of Brian, but at the same time, it really made me laugh a lot. Yeah, I found the fact that Stewie was eating a snow that had piss in it and his reaction towards Brian to be fucking hilarious. Anyway, Lois expects Carter Pewter Smith to take care of Stewie Griffin. But while driving Stewie Griffin, Carter Pewter Smith does something fucking horrible. He takes a nap while driving. Now that is something that you should never do while driving. In fact, I think Carter Pewter Smith deserved to have his fucking driving license taken away. Stewie tries to tell Barbara about it, but Barbara doesn't take it seriously. I know it's common in Family Guy that people don't take Stewie Griffin seriously because he's a baby. But she should have taken what Stewie said seriously because this is a fucking serious issue. I mean Carter Pewter Smith could get himself Barbara and Stu were seriously injured. And by no surprise, Carter's car crashes. Along with all the cars that are around them. One of the people that gets their cars crashed is none other than Mayor Adam fucking West. And he's very fucking funny like usually. He basically wakes up two times from a dream. And what I find the funniest about that scene is the fact that he mentions a professor from high school even after he has stated that he's no longer in high school. Yeah, and I also wanted to when he said, I moved from the desert years ago. That scene is just so fucking funny. And I also find it funny when he expects a hospital to take care of a cracked ear. There are many, many more funny scenes in this episode. However, since most of them are irrelevant to the plot, I will be talking about the cutaway gags and other irrelevant scenes by the end of this review. Anyway, Carter Pewter Smith finds himself at a hospital and Joe does something that he had every damn right to. He took away Carter Pewter Smith's driving license. And I completely agree with Joe that Carter Pewter Smith does n not deserve to have fucking driving license after doing what he did. People who take a nap while driving don't deserve fucking driving license at all. But Barbara points out to his husband that they aren't young anymore, which is indeed very correct. And Barbara suggests Carter Pewter Smith to retire. But Carter Pewter Smith fucking refuses to do that and is worried about the company. And for good reasons too. In fact, I agreed with Carter Pewter Smith that it was best for him not to retire. I can't believe I'm saying this. I supported Carter Pewter Smith in that scene. Anyway, after Carter Pewter Smith hangs around with Peter's friend and family for some time, Peter Griffin decides to drive Carter to Florida so Carter Pewter Smith can enjoy his retirement there. But unfortunately, Carter Pewter Smith is still thinking about his job and thinks that he doesn't belong with the other old people. Which is another thing that I completely understand about Carter Pewter Smith and I support what he said. And that's one thing that I must mention about this episode. What makes this episode so fucking awesome is the fact that it's an episode that made me care about Carter Pewter Smith and it's also literally the only episode where I don't fucking hate Carter Pewter Smith. And that's one hell of an accomplishment. But you know what? Peter Griffin doesn't give up. In fact, he does his best 
to convince Carter Pewter Smith to retire by showing him how fun retirement is. One of the things that he and Carter do together is try bingo. And Peter Griffin knows the perfect way to win. Of course that counts as cheating, but it is a very genius plan. When someone wins that bingo, Peter says that he should just take that guy's bingo card and fucking use it to take the prize. Wow, that is a genius plan and I never thought of that. So Peter successfully manages to convince Carter Pewter Smith to retire. So everything is all in good, or like it seems. Unfortunately, several weeks later, Carter Pewter Smith feels like absolute shit and is very fucking miserable because of his retirement. So Peter Griffin of course realizes that the best thing to do is to bring him back to his company so he can work there again. And Peter also admits that it was wrong that retirement was the best thing for Carter Pewter Smith. But I'm glad that Carter is back at his job. Now it's time for my overall thoughts and tell you exactly why this episode is so fucking awesome. The best part about the episode is the fact that it made me care and root for and not manage to support Carter Pewter Smith, an asshole that I would normally fucking hate. Yeah, that's what makes this episode so fucking awesome, and it also has a very good message in it. The point of the episode is the fact that not everybody is meant to retire someday. There are some people who are never meant to retire, and that is indeed very correct. Now even though I don't personally know somebody who is still working even after reaching a certain age, I know for a fact that there exist many actors and directors in the United States who still do their job even though they are very fucking old. That is proof right there that it is indeed true that some people are never meant to retire. And you know what? I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. But before I end this video, I am going to be talking about some of the funny moments in the episode. I already talked about the funny scenes with Adam West, but there are many more moments that made me laugh, so I think it's worth talking about them as well. I found it very funny that Cartaway Gag, their dead Carter Pewter Smith, was doing some business with other dead people while he was in his coffin. That was just hilarious. And that forgetful military commander, that is very funny as well. And I also love the scene where Peter and Lois use their saxophone into the phone. And the funniest part about this scene is when Lois uses her fucking vagina to do just that. And I also love the scene where Super Death takes death away. That is very genius, very clever, and not to mention fucking funny. And the scene where Peter Griffin rips an old man's face off made me laugh a lot. It is very brutal, and I found it also very fucking funny. Now, do I have sick sense of humor for finding something like that to be funny? Maybe, but god damn it, it really made me laugh. The only scene in the episode that I didn't find funny at all was that scene where Batman, Superman and others met together. Yeah, that scene was just okay, it wasn't particularly funny. But it's literally the only issue that I have with this episode. So yeah, this is a very funny and a very good episode. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.